Hello everybody, this is Mavie's Crafty Shop and I'm bringing to you a tutorial today. This is my first tutorial I've ever done, so bear with me. Um, I hope that uh, y'all enjoy it and like any tutorials that uh, with our crafty stuff, this is not anything new. This is something that somebody else has already done. It's just my take on it and how I enjoy making it. Um, I did have some people, <clears throat> excuse me, some people that um, I have learned a lot of great stuff from that I wanted to share with y'all. And it's called Crafty Irina, Patricia Veramontes, Maria Wilson, and Deli Girl 1961. I'm sure a lot of y'all are friends with them on uh, YouTube and stuff. They have a lot of great tutorials out there. They're really good about sharing their information. And also Paula Emmons. She, I use this collage podge. This is what I'm going to use today in my craft that I'm going to make. Uh, Eileen's puts it out. It's I really like it a lot better than the other uh, decoupage stuff that we everybody else use um, because it doesn't really, it's not sticky. That other is kind of sticky and I don't really like it. So she said this worked really good and she uses it on a lot of her stuff. So this is what I used. Um, other than that, you know, I just added a little glue to my uh, decoupaging um, podge stuff and made it kind of a soupy consistency. Um, I need a, might need a bone knife, might not, um, scissors, uh, cheesecloth, because I did use cheesecloth in my, um, my, my, what I made. And what I did was I took some book pages and I just cut around the edges with a uh, scalloped scissors and I just, uh, stained them. So they turned out really cute. These are just regular book pages out of these books that we, we tear out. I took some uh, napkins that I got. This, I think I got at Marshall's. These my mom gifted me. Aren't they pretty? She said she got them from Germany, and I'm doing her a journal for her birthday that's actually the end of this month, so I'm hoping that I get finished with it. But I was going to make uh, some pockets out of that. But anyway, this is what I made, and that's kind of what I want to show y'all today. I actually took... Uh, this is construction paper, and I tea dyed it, and I just love the feel of construction paper. I just think it feels good, and it does pretty good in journals, so I like to use it just kind of as different pages. I took um, and glued this down, the paper, the book paper, and then I took some cheesecloth, glued it down, and then I just took my uh, napkin and decoupaged it on there. So um, I'd already kind of prepped some stuff. I went ahead and had a, another piece of... Um, construction paper that I did. I had already um, did a stamping on the back of this one, so I kind of prepped ahead of, ahead of time. And I put the cheesecloth on there, and it's pretty dry. And I already took my napkin and kind of did what I needed to do to it. Some of these napkins have uh, double layers on them, um, so you'll need to make sure and pull that off. Sometimes I leave it on there, sometimes I don't. You know, it just depends. Uh, how it works. Um, the, uh, the, this one I did earlier, um, I actually used these, I think these are acetone papers. I'm not sure. But somebody has a YouTube on it where you put it in, inside and then you take it out and you put it on the paper and rub it on there with the bone knife. And it does work. Well, it worked on this one really good, but this napkin, it was thin and it did not work on it. So, it depends on the napkin. So I decided just to glue this napkin down. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm actually gonna take the napkin and you have to be very careful because these napkins are delicate. So just find your position and then I just brush out, strokes out. That's all I do, strokes out. And I always like a little of my cheesecloth to be showing on the outside part. Um, you can get cheesecloth at Hobby Lobby. Walmart carries it. Um, it's not that expensive and it's a fun little add to on anything. Um, if you are kind of don't want to use a lot of cheesecloth, you could just use it on the edges. I put it underneath because it kind of gives it texture. And see, this works good. I mean, this actually to me is a little easier than the other. Um, that somebody has out there 
I think this that lady is from another country. I, I don't really know. I can't. I tried to find the video on it so I could tell you all about it. It's, it's really neat, the video that she does, and I love the technique, but it didn't work very good on this. So, And then there you go. And after it dries, it will be clear and you can add to something different to it if you want to put like you know some little um sayings on there at the bottom you can but i just think this is so pretty and i just love the way that napkins do on things so let's do something else so i have another napkin this one was actually copy dyed and i just i had put some stamps on it i didn't really like the way it turned out so i'm repurposing this and I don't, I'm gonna make a pocket out of it, but I don't wanna glue it yet. So I'm actually going to leave it like this. And I'm gonna make sure that I put this on the right way. But this is the little girl I'm gonna use. Isn't she darling? I love her. She's got a little doll. My mother loves dolls. So I'm gonna take some cheesecloth again. And I'm gonna put that down first. And like I said, just Take and put some on your paper, and then just put your cheesecloth down, and get it on there. You can be generous with your glue. It works really good. So. I think that's good enough. So what I'm gonna do, like I said, I'm gonna make a pocket out of this. So I don't wanna close it. So, because it's not dry yet and I'm gonna use my heat gun on there, but not right this minute because I don't, I haven't yet figured out how to cut and if you stop your videos, how you get them to connect together. I, my Wi-Fi here where I live is terrible right now. We're building a new home and I'm hoping that my new Wi-Fi is gonna be much better because I have a hard enough time getting my videos uploaded. So, like I said, usually these have another layer underneath. I sometimes don't like to take them off because they make them so thin that to me, they I don't like the way they do. So, what we can do again is just take some water and you can just kind of go around the edges. Just pull apart. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. It's just what your preference is. I just like the way it looks, the little kind of rough edges. It's just whatever you prefer. One thing about um, crafting, it's pretty much do it the way you feel that you want to do it. You don't have to do it exactly like anybody else. And sometimes I do exactly like other people do and sometimes I kind of improvise and do things to, that I like so I think that's good there let me go with that so what we're going to do is just just like before I'm going to take and put that little girl on there and I think she'll fit pretty good right there make sure she's in the middle there we go isn't she darling and again just take and barely put some pressure on there and glue her down or whatever whatever you got these napkins you can get them at oh no see see what happened Well, see how she tore in the middle? That's what I'm talking about, how delicate these things are. But you know what? That's okay because I can, anytime you make a mistake or do something, don't get discouraged. You can always put something there, let it dry. It may, it may look fantastic. It's vintage and makes it look more antique. So I don't get, I just like, okay, whatever. It's okay. But you do have to be really careful with these napkins. But this is what I'm planning on doing with this. I'm gonna make a little pocket out of it and I'm gonna glue it down on the edges once it dries really good and put it in a journal from my mother. 
So anyway, there you go. These are my little things that I did up. I hope y'all enjoy it. A little short tutorial. Not hard, easy to do. Um, and I appreciate y'all watching. And I hope to start trying to do just a little short tutorials so everybody has, uh, you know, another take on something. So anyway, y'all have a blessed day, and thank y'all so much for watching.